welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. Today we're continuing with our fencing project, a little bit different. We found that a lot of the posts and the top rails have started splitting and our plan was just to leave them natural and leave the wood finish and you know let them age a little bit. But now that they're all starting to split, we found out that you're supposed to either seal them or paint them. And yeah, I didn't know that. Um, so I'm sort of sharing this so that if you're watching and you think you can leave them as timber, well, you need to actually do something about it and sooner rather than later. So what we've got, this is just example of these big splits opening up. And it's happening on some of the vertical posts as well as the horizontal ones. So it's not what we wanted to see. Um, disappointed to say the least but yeah, that's quite significantly opens so what we're going to do is start painting uh, my wife has started painting some today already so we'll get on to that and continue that on um, yeah as I said we weren't expecting to have to paint them but if this helps and makes them last longer well that's a good thing too so but what we're doing is we're stopping installing any more wire at the moment because it just makes it so much easier if we, the wire is not there on the remainder in the last video you saw we've finished all the posts and the rails of the other side fence um, I've been working and I've got all the posts installed along the front and almost the rest of the post fully installed so we're going to keep working on those, cut them down and get the rails installed, but basically paint everything now um, before we pull any more wire. So this fence behind me was the first side fence we did. We're going to have to uh, paint it as well, but it's going to be a lot more fiddly with the wire there and also getting to the other side of the fence as well. We'll have to speak to the neighbour and um, jump over and just walk along the, the edge of that. So. Um, it's going to be interesting. We've got a number of rails that we haven't installed yet. Um, so, yeah, timber posts sit in there. Uh, timber to be rails. So we might, we'll try and paint those first before we install them. And that might help a little bit too, might make it easier. We will see. Um, but that's where we're up to. So I think now I'm gonna just cut the tops off these posts so they're all at the right height for the ones along the front. Um, and then we'll be painting away vigorously for a little while. So anyway, we'll get there. Um, it's all a learning experience. So like I said, if you didn't know that, like me, I'll take it from what we've experienced here that after a period of time, they'll start drying and cracking open. So hopefully painting these will seal them up and certainly reduce or stop that cracking I'm not convinced it's actually going to stop it totally, but we'll see. I've been told it does work. Um, time will tell, hey. But there's still a lot more to do. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be a lot of paint. It'll be interesting to see how much paint we use for the number of posts and rails that we've got. Anyway, we'll get into it. Hey guys, well a bit of an update at the moment. We now have installed all of the fence posts. There's uh, about three gate posts still to install, but I'm really happy that we've finally got all the fence posts in. We still need to put the top rails on along the front and this return here. But all the digging of those post holes is basically finished now, so that's a big achievement. I'm extremely happy with that. And as you can see down there, we've started painting the post as well. So we will continue on with a lot of painting going on. And I think at the moment, we just need to uh, trim these posts along here, ready for the rails, the front. So all of the fence posts that run all the way down the hill over here, 
they are all done. Uh, I've trimmed the tops off of those, so they're all level now. So they're ready to have the top rail installed. So we'll trim these ones down. I'll mark them out now, cut them down. We're getting there. So making progress, which is great to see. is doing all that painting we've still got some more to do on that but we've had a few days of rain so I'm just going to leave for a bit longer and let the posts and rails dry a bit more before we continue painting so at the moment what we're going to do is run out the wire for our side fence so if you've seen the previous episodes we've done when we rolled out the wire we're able to just roll it straight out beside it and then just stand the wire up and attach it Unfortunately, it's not going to be that easy in this one because down the back here we've got some trees and some stumps and things that so I just can't roll the wire out directly beside the fence because of that. So, what we're going to have to do is roll out 30 40 meters of wire and then manhandle it into position and attach it. And then this bit out the front here we can roll that and then um, st stand it up. So, it's going to be a little bit more mucking around than previously ones, but we'll get there. I think this should work. We'll give it a go. Well, that was easier than I thought. Half expected it to start rolling down the hill. Not that it's that steep, but I thought I might have had to stop it from breaking a fence post or something. We're good. do I just put a couple of staples to hold this wire across here not that it really is going to affect our place but the neighbors have chickens as well and once we have this wire up you know their chickens might actually be able to escape so rather than create a problem for them for the neighbors we'll just cut, chuck a couple of staples in that and then we can attach our wire I've in quite a lot of these staples before and I've found it's a lot better to get your fingers out the way so some people might give me a hard time but I've got the bruises and things before to, to know what it's like I don't like it I'm gonna um, stick to using the pair of long nose pliers Is that one in? 
Sorry? Is that one in? This one? Oh yeah, okay. It's in, it's not going to fall out. It's just going to go over. <laughs> oh dear. There's some interesting ones there. You showing my bad carpentry skills? Uh, no, of course not, dear. <laughs> Actually, one of the you good one you can't even see. Blends in really well. That's good. <laughs> Okay, so we've worked out our game plan. So the wire, this is the start of the roll obviously, and it has this really long space here compared to what your normal spacing is. So what we're gonna do is just cut this off a little bit near the end so we still have a bit of length. And thanks to the wife's idea, thank you honey, we'll feed that in and around the post and then we can attach to the post at this point vertical here. Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, well, you'll see in a moment anyway. Timber! No, it's metal. Metal! Just seen me roll that wire out for the rest of the length of the fence and we've attached the wire at the far corner so previously what we've done is we've stood it up and then tensioned the whole run in one go because of the unevenness of the ground here though what we're going to do is i think i'll try and tension it here first and we'll do that back end especially where all those trees are the ground level is just all over the place so I'm just concerned if i just do the one length of it it's just going to pull it, you know, the ground goes up and down, so it'll just pull some of the top wires or the bottom wires or the middle, it'll pull really tight and the others might not be as tight. So we're going to try it here first, do the back half and then move on to the front half. So I'll just clean up this mess behind me, sort of sit it up here, um, grab my rotor and yeah, put a bit of tension on it. I won't crank it too tight because I'm just going to attach it to one of our fence posts. So. I don't know. We'll see if this works. It should work. Well, that's the idea anyway. We'll see. Wire installed now and tensioned. 
So now I just need to go through and hammer everything in. So here we go. So the side fence is now done. Overall, I'm really happy with it. There's a couple of spots just up here that it's not 100% perfect because I just couldn't get enough tension on it the whole way. And I didn't want to just keep reefing on it and making it tighter and tighter. So I think it was because of the lay of the land and how there's the ups and downs. But overall, the height above that top rail that I was a bit concerned about is nowhere near as bad as what it could have been. So that's good. Um, but yeah, just these little bits here, I just couldn't get enough tension in them. So anyway, it's done. A little bit more to go out the front still, but getting this side fence done, big achievement, I'm really happy with it, I'm glad to finally get that done. The end is in sight, I've got to say, not too much further to go. But that's all we've got time for in this episode, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button, it'd be great, and we'll catch you next time. God bless.